What a difference a year makes. This time last March, I was out enjoying the beautiful cherry blossoms in Washington, D.C. So guys, today I am sharing a video of my basement family room slash movie room. So these are some of the before pictures. The room was completely green and it was just bare and I knew I wanted to be bright and cheerful. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoy it. This is the after. Welcome to our theater room. My son and I collaborated on making this room perfect for both of us. So we were able to discuss what type of posters we wanted. Some of them are his favorite and I am absolutely a Wonder Woman woman as well as Charlie's Angels. So those are the posters that I chose in here and we can change them out um, as our mood changes. Now I purchased this vinyl sticker, Welcome to Our Theater from Etsy a couple years ago and I love it. So this is what you see before you actually go into the room. So let's go into the family movie room. Now I am blessed with the size of this room. It is a pretty big room so I was able to decorate it pretty well. Most of these items in here are things that I've had for years, but I really wanted to personalize it for me and my son. Like with this popcorn machine, it actually does work and we love using it. This is absolutely one of my most favorite rooms in a house because it's downstairs in a basement in the summer, it is so cool. In the winter, I turn a fireplace on and this is where I enjoy my mommy time, period. Now my son would normally use it before COVID with all of his friends, but since he hasn't had a lot of visitors, I have just taken over the space. Now I love surrounding myself with anything that reminds me of my childhood. So down here was a perfect place for me to implement that. We loved to play jacks growing up. My sister was the jacks queen. We played tic-tac-toe. I grew up in a very music-oriented family. So we had jukeboxes and Soul Train, American Bandstand. So those are some of the things that I really like to surround myself with. We play a lot of board games. Since COVID, we have been playing a lot of board games. And still my least favorite is Monopoly. Every time that I would go out and I would see these balls for the pool table, I would grab them because we literally lived across the street from a place that had that played pool. So that reminds me of my childhood. So it's a really pleasant space for me to be in. We also have this refrigerator down here and I keep a lot of drinks down here. I gave up soda for Lent, so it's perfect because it's down here. So if I want a soda, I know I'm too lazy to walk three flights down. So that prevents me from drinking a lot of soda, but I like to keep it here for my guests. So what is a movie room without snacks? This is one of my favorite areas. I actually did this as a DIY. So, you know, big frames can be very expensive and y'all know I love going to the thrift shop. So I found these beautiful frames at the thrift store, got some red spray paint and I painted them. And then I went to Lowe's and got a piece of cork board and they um, cut it to size. And then I just got these little plugins from Amazon so that the candy would sit on. And I absolutely way, love the way it turned out. Of course, I go to the Dollar Tree and get all my candy and it works out perfect. So some of my guests don't like popcorn, so I have this carousel of all different type of chips. I actually bought the carousel from Amazon and it works out perfectly. So everybody has a variety of what they want. So 
So I often get a lot of questions about the spelling of my son's name and my name on the wall. So I actually got this from Etsy. There are they are called Scrabble pieces and they sell the towels individually. I think I paid three dollars for the towel for each towel and you just kind of make up the configuration but I think it gives it a nice personalized touch to our movie room. So of course the finishing touches for any room are the accessories like these beautiful curtains that I got from one of my new favorite stores called Ollie's. I actually bought these for $5.99 per panel. They were 84 inches. I needed 96, so I just bought one extra curtain and did the iron on on the bottom to make them the length that I wanted them. I also purchased these pillow covers as opposed to purchasing brand new pillows that would take up space. So I purchased these movie theater pillow covers from Amazon and just put them on some old pillows. You really have to think outside the box and use the stuff you already have in your home. Just go from room to room to see what you have and you'll be surprised how beautiful it looks in a new space. All right, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you have not, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I am really going to try to increase my subscriber count as I'm posting, as I'm putting out more videos. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it, and I would love for you to leave a comment. All right, guys, I hope you are able to find something in this video that you are able to implement somewhere in your room. All right, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. So friends, if you have not done so, I would love for you to press that subscribe button. I am really trying to get my subscriber number up and I hope that you're enjoying this video. And if you are, please don't hesitate to share it with your friends and also ask them to subscribe to my channel.